All right, this time what we're going to be making is something called a bridal joint. Okay, so the way we're going to make this is we're going to do a create sketch, and I'm going to start by making the face of it first. So I want to make it 90. I only want to make it 19 mils wide, and I want to make it 90 long. Finish that sketch, and this is going to be extruded by 200, like so. Let me just make it easier. Now, it is very close to a mortise and tenon joint, but it's going to go all the way through, so it's a proper framing joint. So I'm going to select the top. And I want to do my line, my center line, with construction steps on, construction step lines on, like so. And basically, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make it as even as possible. So I'm going to do about six mils or seven mils in the middle, and then it's going to be six either side. So. And I'm going to make a trench through here. So the way I'm going to do that, so I'm going to make it 7 mils in the middle, because 6 plus 6 is 12, and then plus 7 is 19, and my material is 19 mils thick. So it's 7 in the middle, so 3.5 either side. 3.5 here, 3.5 here, 3.5 here. Two-point rectangle. Turn my construction steps off, lines off, sorry. And it's going to be 90 mils long and 7 mils wide. Like so. Like so. And I finish my sketch. Now, the thing about a bridle is that I'm going to use the same material width to fit in this. So it's going to be like a tenon that's going to fit in this mortise. So it's going to have to be whatever this material is. So this is 90. So say if it's 100, this would go 100 down. But say it's 90 wide, it's going to go 90 down. So that's what the thing it's going to fit in. It could be anything, anything I but I just want to make it as easy as possible. Minus 90, and that's my trench going through there. So you can see. Now I'm going to save this one. Go save as bridal joint. Part one. Now I'm basically going to make the tenon for this to slot in, so it slots in nicely. So I'm going to go new design. I'm going to make the same type of thing, the same element. So 19 wide by 90, 19 thick by 90 wide. Finish sketch, and I'm going to extrude this up by 200 again. Click on my home button to get a better view. Create sketch, and just like I did before, so I'm going to do my center line as I did with my other part of the bridle. So I've got my center line with construction lines on. And instead of doing it from the center, I'm actually going to do it from these edges here. And it's going to be, because my last one was 7 in the middle, but I'm going to have to do the 6s on the outside. So I'm going to have to do two boxes of 6 mils in from each edge. So 6 by 90, and another one here, which is 6. So it's basically the reverse of what we did before. And I'm going to go to finish sketch. Now, I just want to go to the home button because I'm going to show what I'm going to do next. I'm going to have to pull these edges all the way down 90 mils so it fits nicely in my job. So I can actually do both sides by selecting one and selecting, holding shift and selecting the other. And I'm going to go and extrude, and this is going to be minus 90 all the way down. So as you can see, that's actually the internal element of what I have taken away there. And I'm going to save as bridle joint part two. Yes, save. New design. Save as completed. Bridal joint. And I am basically going to add those materials. So, show panel. I'm going to add the groove one first. And I can find it. As you can see, I've done a lot. And I'm going to insert this one, the bridle joint. Okay, I actually like how that's directional, and I'm going to ground that one. Part two, insert. Just 
that's uh, on top of each other. And close that to make it a bit easier. Gonna rotate it because it's gonna go in like so. I'm just gonna lift it up a bit. Now, this element's actually quite hard to do and get it right. So I'm gonna select this edge because I want it to sit flush with this edge here. Now I'm gonna hold shift and select here, and we go join. And as we can see, that actually fits in there. Perfect. So you could potentially use this for a picture frame if you wanted to. The only issue is that it does show the end grain. Um, it's also a framing joint that you could use in things like houses, or you could potentially use it in a park if you wanted to, in a tabletop. Okay, then we go set. 